Hey, my name is Ralph. I'm a Flex Film, and I'm going to teach you how to tint a Volkswagen Bug side window the way I like to do it. One of the first steps we do here is uh, we roll the window down. And uh, it's very important that you try to take this seal out. This is a 2003 Volkswagen. And it's a little old. It's been sitting out in the sun, being, being baked. I gotta find a way to <laughs> free this thing without causing any trouble. Okay, we've rolled the window down and now we wanna just um, start trying to take this, this rubber felt out so that we can better access the window. Sometimes these are pretty tough to take out. There we go. And just kinda carefully. This has been on there a long time. This is an 03 bug. They're real easy to take out. Once you take them out, they're not that hard to put back in. Carefully lay it down. Now that we've eliminated our possibility of having any contamination in our window from the felt, um, I'm gonna roll the window back up. And the next step I'm gonna we're gonna lay the film out and we're gonna to begin to cut the pattern. Okay, we've already cleaned off the outside of the glass to get rid of any contaminants so we can uh, heat mold this and shape it up. I wanna wet it a little bit so um, we can get the film to stick to the glass. I'm gonna go over here and get my film. I've already rolled it down. This is my Omniflex 20%. You'll notice the bottom of this film is a straight edge. The release liner is facing me, and the bottom of this glass is slightly curved. Uh, normally, we'd like to match the straight edge if the straight edge is smooth instead of rough with the bottom of the edge of a glass, but in this case, we, we're not gonna be able to do that because of the uh, extreme curvature of the glass and the fact this is not a straight line. So um, what I'm gonna do now is just I'm gonna anchor the film to the glass. Cause I wanna be um, cut, cutting a pattern out and I just don't want this film to shift as I roll the window up and down. I gotta be really careful though. I don't wanna you know, right, run over my fingers with my hard card so that I crease the film. Kinda go between them. All I'm trying to do is get this film anchored so that uh, the next step, I'm gonna use my trusty silver Sharpie. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna carefully mark the edge of the window. You can see that line pretty easy. I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom, be real careful, but I'm gonna easily trace out the bottom edge of my glass so that I know where it ends. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side of the glass. Not a lot of effort here, it's an easy way to you can kind of see a pattern going on here. That's what I'm gonna be dealing with when I wanna further cut it out. Now I wanna contend with the top edge of the glass. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna turn the car on real quick and roll the glass down. And now we must take a pause break for a second. Yeah, now that we've got the uh, film anchored, uh, reasonably well and um, we've got our sharpie markers uh, we're gonna roll down the glass to contend with the top edge and how we're gonna do that okay now that we've got the top edge exposed we have a lot of fingers here that are uh, at the moment in our way these will if we if we try to cut the top edge with our blade you know these fingers are gonna distort the way our top edge looks so we're gonna lift up this film and we're gonna try to work these fingers out of the top edge. We want a smooth top edge for a better looking edge when we try to make a cut. It's not hard to do, you just gotta be careful just to not crease the film and just kind of work this down. And there we go. I like to stick my blade in at one, at one side and, and level, 
holding the blade level, I like to drag the blade across carefully and make a smooth cut. I will discard the remainder of the film. Okay. Now what I got to deal with is I'm going to take my tent to the glass. I'm going to, I'm going to cut freehand along this line, the remainder of my pattern. And then after that, we'll heat mold the film. And after that, we'll install it. I transferred the film to the glass. I can see where my pattern needs to be cut. I'm going to cut it freehand with my open knife. I'm going to cut a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch to the left so that I have some that goes into the gasket where you can't have any light gaps. And, I'm gonna, and I'll have a real smooth cut doing it this way with a sharp blade. Pattern's starting to take a little shape here. I like to round up my corners so they don't peel up. You won't see this, but they need to be a little bit rounded. They will turn out a little nicer. I want to work uh, straighten up my sides so they don't peel up either and make them look real neat. Very clean and factory looking. And then I'll round this corner, of course, so it looks natural. All right, I'm happy with that. That's my pattern. Now I got to I mold it because I got a really curved piece of glass here, and we'll take that step on next. Okay, the next step is to heat mold the film, and we're going to have to place the film back on the glass and um, work out the fingers so that we can heat them. I like to place the film where there's about a one inch gap at the bottom. So I, I don't have any problems where I have to um, get the uh, rubber at the bottom hot and discolor it, make the customer mad. <laughs> it's happened before. All I want to do is I want to work these fingers at the top around so they, uh, so, so they, they wind up at the bottom here. Just kind of carefully working these things around. Notice how they, they grow really fast. It's a very, very curved window. Trying to work some of this water down. Now, I have to contend with these fingers, which they're, <laughs> they're very large. But we're gonna just kind of play around with them with a heat gun until they uh, flatten out. Uh, no sense in getting in a rush with this, but we certainly like to start heating a little bit and break them up and heat the tops. I don't really want to heat the bottom, just the tops a little bit to kind of get them going. A little at a time till they start to flatten out. I've left the space here so I don't have to burn anything. That's nice. This is our OmniFlex 20%. It's very user-friendly film, shrinks really well. Sometimes this step could be a little more difficult if you were using a product that uh, wasn't really user-friendly or had some difficulties in shrinking. You may think you don't know how to do this technique or you're having trouble with it, but it, it may actually be the film. So, you know, film selection is very important. Usually any, any dyed film though, considering, you know, the technology we have today is probably going to be uh, fairly easy to shrink. It's just when you get into the metalized film sometimes or ceramics and other, other newer technologies that, that can be a little more difficult. Maybe really economy films or one ply films can be a little more difficult if you're not used to them, but if you are used to them, it may seem really easy to you. Taking my time, working them down.
still see some fingers at the top. I'm not really too worried about them. Maybe this one here. Let's uh, play around with it for a second. And see what we can do. Yeah, we got one. I almost let it slip past me. I'll try to get it more vertical here so it'll shrink better. Now that I got the fingers out, I'm a double snap guy. I like to shrink the glass even a little bit further than it should go to give it a tightness at the bottom that may prevent me from having any fingers at all for moisture. So I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit more shrink. Okay, I'd say I'm happy with that. We're getting ready to uh, install this film. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep the glass. I've already uh, scraped the glass with my blade. So I don't know how you prep the glass, but we just go by with our blade and scrape it down real good. I've already done that for the sake of time. And we roll the window down in this car. And uh, we, we pull the panel back. I've already snapped it, but it just snaps back and then you create this space in between it. And then you pull this, uh, you pull the rubber out. It comes out, it may take a little bit of a pull. And this will make it easy for you to do the bottom edge. So now all we, all we wanna do is we want to definitely clean the top edge really well. That's where we get a lot of hidden trash in these cars. Since I've already scraped it, I'm just going to dry it back down before I squeegee it. This is a microfiber cloth. Purchased this, I think, at Walmart. So now we want to wet it lightly. Squeegee it, and then we'll be ready to install this piece of film. I wipe the blade every time I, my microfiber, every time I run it across the glass. I always like to dry the top edge one last time. Work it from left to right or right to left. It's kind of a big window here. Squeeze the bottom of this real thoroughly. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here and just peel this off and, and put it on. Work the bottom in easy first.
Some people like to do a shaved edge here. I do a micro. I'll make sure this tent's laying really flat up against this edge. Everything else will probably fall into place. continuously adjust this edge to make sure that it's really micro so it doesn't slide on me. Uh -oh, slipped a little bit. I probably need to adjust my slip solution a little bit but now that I know it's very slippery I'm going to be very careful. Kind of working it down. I like to dry and seal my top edge before I roll the window up. It's always a good, good idea to get that laying down really flat. And I'll continue to squeegee this thing down. Since I did a lot of shrinking on this window, I want to just kind of work it down really slow. I don't want to run over it too, too fast, it may crease it. Probably not, but it's always a possibility. I'm able to hard tool it at the same time I'm squeegeeing it. It's a dyed film, they dry really fast. Uh, I would say uh, in my climate they dry fast. <laughs> Alabama, Georgia. I like to dry the edges, the bottoms. Make sure I prevent any possible moisture fingers from popping up. Then I'll uh, roll this down here in a minute, and we'll put the um, we'll put it the, the door back together. All right, looks like it's done. Okay, here's the finished product. Just gonna walk around it.